We learned long ago not to question what is and is not art. Take, for instance, this sculpture in the front of Steve Watkins' house in Alvin, Texas. It's a safe bet it won't be on display in a museum anytime soon. Nevertheless, it is artistic. But Steve's wife, Monica, says her husband seems to be confused about what to do with the trash. I keep telling him to haul the junk off, and he keeps bringing more home. But there's more to Steve's hobby than a pile of plumbing. I enjoy the coming out here and making something that I create with my hands, like a hobby of mine. Steve is a man who knows his metal. From nine to five every day, he makes a living fabricating thin, soft aluminum. That's his job, but this is his passion. Cutting and grinding, heating and beating, one of the world's hardest metals, stainless steel. I come out here and, and, and uh, start working on something out of metal and, and I just enjoy it. And so I, I have to come in like late at night. You know, I stay out here till 11, 30 or 12 o'clock and you know, working on my metal stuff. And I really enjoy it. I get hung on one piece and I, I just stay out here. You know, there, there are a lot of other uh, things you could work with. It'd be a lot easier. Have you thought about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of metals are softer than stainless. Stainless is one of the hardest metals. And yeah, sure, I can make stuff out of silver or something like that, but I enjoy the, the stainless, the hardness. People, people know what stainless is, and they go, man, that's, that's, that's stainless. These days, when Steve Watkins disappears into his workshop, there's not much telling what he'll come out with. But with the tools and the time, he's sure to turn out another Steve Watkins original. Bring the, the shine in stainless. You got to go past the, the metal's uh, pits. Sometimes metal has you know regular normal pits in it, and you have to get past that. And that's a lot of grinding. I mean, I might grind for three hours. Make no mistake, this work is art. It takes several hundred hours to make and mold this metal into a masterpiece. But art and artist are words and titles that don't mean much to Steve. He's just happy hammering away the hours, doing what he does best. A guy asked me one time, he was an artist, and he said, where's your, uh, what do they call that, um, studio? And I said, my studio? <laughs> I don't have a studio, I have a shop, you know. And I said, it's in my backyard. You know, I don't really call it a studio. You know, I guess other artists call their places studios. Well, this is my shop. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how you, you actually do this. Okay, well, this piece here is a deer skull. This, this right here, uh -huh. these two pieces together, that's a deer skull. Yes, sir. This, that would be this, what this is. You're, you're going to take this and this, and you're going to make this out of it. Right. That's exactly how it was made. I, I, I don't, I'm having a hard time seeing this when I look at this. <laughs> but you see that, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. That's, that's what I, I can look at something and see something in there. You don't know you're an artist, do you? No, sir, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just a craftsman that know how to deal with some metal. A tour of Steve's home is like wandering through a metallurgical museum of miniatures. But these days, Steve is thinking big. Yeah, I have a future project, uh, a ram. I want to make a ram with the big curled horns. I've been trying to think how I could make the horns all out of some pieces. And I'm going to have to cut a few of them to try it. But I want to make a ram's head.
You can call it art, or you can call it craft, or maybe it's a little bit of both. But for certain, Steve Watkins is a man who knows his metal. It takes a craftsman to hammer out hot stainless steel. But it's only the eyes and hands of an artist who can make it shine in a silver reflection of life. I don't have any instructions, uh, so I'm constantly looking at my piece, trying to see what I'm going to do next. You know, uh, what I want to put on it, add on it, uh, take a hammer and beat it here, or squeeze it out. Just trying to make, a, make it what I see. I can see something in a piece of metal. And just bringing it out is the part that is the art part, I guess.